we'll go through these. Ready? Yeah. These right here, the three copper ones, and this one, this is a mess kit from the Civil War. These were copper pens used during the Civil War period. This is a bed warmer used during the Civil War period, so we're talking 19th century. This, this is 18th century, 1700s. This is a sheep bell or a cow bell. When they didn't have metal, the farmers were out there with no metal, they would carve them. So this is a handmade cow bell or sheep bell. This is one of the most unique things you'll ever see. This is 1700s. You know what it's called? A hog knocker. <laughs> they would grab the pig and pull him out like this. And when he was standing there, they would take this and hit him right there and kill him. So this is a hog knocker and this is the thing they'd lead him with. Those, are, I've never seen another one. When the guy told me about it, I had to have a kind of stupid thing to buy because it's so unique. Okay, this is something that goes in the kitchen. This is a potato smasher. This is 1700, circa 1760. They would smash the potatoes with this, and you can see this has really been used a lot. This is probably chestnut. Then when they got it broken up, they would use this to smooth them out. This was the other part of a potato smashing. Okay, this is a boot remover, shoe remover before you go in the house. This is 1750s. It's original. I put these up for a reason. These are early, early 1800 knives and forks. I wanted to show you the 1800s forks had three tines. The 1700s only had two. And that's one good way of telling the difference between 17 and 1800 eating utensils. Now I'll show you something is amazing. This came from the latter part of the 19th century. It shows you how clever they are. Look at this, watch. Now they were making whisk. soup. They would do this. And they'd put it in their drawer like this. But I thought this was the cleverest thing. It's the only one I've ever seen. Maybe this is something we ought to market today. I don't know. I put this up for a reason. This goes with this stuff because they cooked on a fireplace and this is a fire tong. So they'd reach in and pull the logs, put them in or take them out with this. This was all handmade by a blacksmith. Again, you can see the, the detail, how they spent so much time making this and how they did it, I don't know but it's an amazing piece of work.